welcome back to Irish Football Fan TV. It's myself and Rob. And we're basically, we're going to have a chat, basically, about the whole Declan Rice situation because it's gone on far too long now, in my opinion. Um, he's been deliberating since, I think it's September now. I thought it was longer than that, but yeah, it's still long out. It's in and around September because the jersey sh shot taken around his, uh, his birthday picture that was posted there mm. recently, which we will get to, um, is was taken in August, apparently. And I think he started deliberating around September because that would have been around the time when we played Wales and um, Denmark. Oh, yeah, that's right, because he pulled out just before the competitive yeah, yeah. fixtures. Yeah, sorry. So, um, and obviously we, we could have done with him, obviously, with that Wales game and we end up losing. 4-1, Sean Williams score for us. Uh, I was at the game in Cardiff. It wasn't a very enjoyable one. But back to the matter at B. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, you're looking at the situation now is, you know, obviously in June he's come out, he's he's going on and on and on about how he loves Ireland, he wants to captain them one day. You know, it was John O'Shea's testimony against the USA and he was coming out, oh yeah, I can't wait, they love Ireland, blah, blah, blah. Two months later, no, no, I need more time to think about it. I mean, and it's a situation where Gareth Southgate is the one calling up, but like, this whole time, an underage setup, where was Southgate when he was the un underage managers of England and never picked him? You know, which Mick McCarthy made a good point about, is that he didn't ever play him. When, or now he called him up even when he was uh, underage managers, you know, of, of any underage yeah, teams. Yeah, no, yeah, it's, it's a good question. It's probably similar to your man that, well, like in a parallel but that went on to play for England, Michael Keane. Yeah. He played for Ireland all the way up and then all of a sudden jumped ship. Well, at least he never played for the senior team, you know. But this is, yeah, pardon the L French in this video, but it's taking the piss. Like, yeah. <laughs> seriously, it is. Like, you know, like, you know, fair enough. Like, a young fella needs time, but, you know, it's so like four or five months now. And then, you know, the whole act of when the FEI, like maybe the FEI on hindsight probably wasn't the smartest move to tweet out a picture of him in the Ireland jersey. Maybe they wanted to force his hand, but... Well, I think it might have been a, a, a two fingers up to match of the day who were trying to, you know, Lineker and, uh, and Ian Wright were yeah. trying to say that, you know, oh, he'd do well for England in the future. I think it might have been a, a you know... A yeah, little... maybe, but even at that though as well, like even if like they had good intentions but like a oh, child is shy then of liking tweets and things from other people wishing them happy birthday and then the FEI one doesn't doesn't seem yeah doesn't and he's like, 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 obviously seen it like you know there's no two way he had to have seen it you know but yeah. then just chooses to ignore it you know but it's just, just been a constant thing where he's constantly liking and he's retweeting that all these things and it's just getting to a point where it's just get, as Irish fans you know there's only there's only so long that you'll get it's not even that the next round of matches start now in the next six weeks you know so the squad will be announced Mm. soon enough like you know so you kind of want an answer sure Mick McCarthy does because he wants to if he knew today that Declan Royce was going to play for Ireland like it makes his job a lot easier so we like it plan changes the yeah it changes the dynamic probably of the squad he'd pick you know like players that he might call up and but yeah I just think at this point like you know I think you know I think just at this stage you just do some ultimatum just be like look if you want to play for Ireland Grand happy days, but if you need more time, good luck. Yeah, good well, luck. what's it gonna be, Declan? Like, if you if you are watching, um, you know it's getting it's it is getting ridiculous, and you know going like he scores scores a great goal against Arsenal, whatever celebrates. Obviously, he's, the, the next day is his birthday, whatever. But and then going on liking uh, a comment, a future Irish captain, mm. and then unliking it. It's just basically it's just kind of trying to tease the public. I think, um, and I don't think it was any mistake that he did it. You no, know? no, yeah. Jesus, like you'd love to know, like what's going on. Is it him himself? Is it agents in the background telling? Because I think that whole argument now of him saying, "Oh yeah, he'd make more money playing for England," is a lot. It's it's stupid because you know he's after signing a big new huge contract at yeah. West Ham. And, and City are in from. Yeah, and like you know, at the rate he's gone, like it's only a matter of time. No disrespect to West Ham, that he'll end up at a bigger club like a Man City, a Liverpool, the yeah. United, the Chelsea someone like of that ilk you know so i don't think playing for england isn't going to matter to him sure like look at the likes of damien duff and robbie Keane. like they're not exactly paupers after like from their careers you know like you like no matter it's what, never except uh, sorry it's never affected anybody if you i mean if you're that good you'll go across and play like different places Liam brady did it 
Cascarino even did it. Yeah, so you know, it, Stapleton did so it. The so the financial side of it, I think, is a redundant argument because, like, no matter what happens, he's going to be, like, surely got an average footballer in the Premiership still on around 40, 50 grand a week. So he's not going to suffer if he's not an England international. So at this point, you just want to hear, like, are you going to well, like, with, with, with play all... for Ireland or not? You know, because yeah. you said, it's just, it's just annoying for fans as well as you want to know. And then it's annoying for other players because... You know, their international careers, like, I don't know, Kevin Coban said he's taken three caps off a fellow that might have crawled to the Ireland training cramp, training yeah. camp, sorry. You know, like, say, just as an example, say someone like Chris Shields in the League of Ireland, like, you know, if you offered him three caps for Ireland, I'm sure he'd snap your hands off. Of course. But And then you have, like, Declan Royce, as he gets the three caps. He's like, I need time out with them before that, like, doing videos for the FEI, saying how proud he was to play for Ireland. It was a dream come true. So I was just like, how can you go from that down to, like, radio silence, like, when a couple of months? It's just strange to me, like, you know. I know he's young, but at the end of the day, like, he's 20 now, and he should. Like, if, if and he's he should him. have the bottle if someone is influencing to make his own decisions, like, you know. Because you yeah. still hear the stuff coming out, his family want him to play for Ireland, like, his dad and his brothers, and then is maybe agents and other people then like them gobshites on match of the day like you talk absolute crap anyway like like you know like i don't give a fuck if they're watching like i'm sorry for my language like but they're absolute clowns like you know like you know what business is it of them to be like oh yeah talking about being a future england international the next bobby moore and all this shit like you know yeah, sure. He had enough pressure on his own without them ticks wading in, like you know. Yeah, and as well as that, like, it's like, oh well, like you know, I need to take my time and do this and that. I mean, all he seems to be doing is just going around messing all the time. Like, if you look at the social media. He's just he's usually in a gym or he's doing something. I mean, well, how much time do you need to think? And then he's off doing stupid dances with uh, with tubes. I I, I do uh, interviews. He's getting more media coverage now than he was before. Even you know done anything regarding Ireland. He made that a big media outburst himself by doing that. You know? And it's just, it's just, it's just, I'd love to know how, how everyone else feels because it's part of people are like, like, divided about it. But I, I'm now getting to the point where if he doesn't decide this month, I'm done with him. And like, and if he did come back into the set, we would take something like him have to score a wonder goal in a huge game. Or at least, a or a, a Roy Keane or a Roy Keane type performance against okay, Holland, yeah, yeah, that type, of, something like that where like Roy Keane didn't score that day, but the the Overmars, uh, tackle, almost overshadows McAteer's goal. You know that's how high of a performance he showed that day and set the tone. Obviously with that, um, he's capable of doing it, but he's also in danger of being. You know if he stays with England, he's also in the danger of being like a Jack Rodwell or something like that. You know he was tipped to. You went yeah. to City from Everton. And that, I would be fair to him, I think. Well, then again, like you're never an in, you're an injury away from your career being snail card. But, but the thing is, if he, if he did do that and then came to Ireland, he'd have more of a chance of getting in the Ireland team as he won with the England. Ah, definitely. Like, and I think as well, like he wants to play centre midfield. Mick McCarthy has said, I build my team around yeah, him. Yeah, goals on Sunday. Yeah, like, and to say that about a 19, now 20 year old, like, that's a massive statement. Like, like I highly doubt Garrett, that Garrett Sauke is going to say to him, oh yeah, I'm going to build the England squad around him, like, not a hope, like, let's be realistic, like, the players that they have compared to us, like, you know, yeah, it's not going to happen, if, like, in England, like, he'll be told, oh, you're going to play centre-half, and that's it, whereas it, in Ireland, he'll be the, as you said, probably the Roy Keane of the side, like, you know, that way. Yeah. So, yeah, it's just getting to the point, now, as you said, if he doesn't decide in the next few weeks, if I was Mick McCarthy, it'd just be like, you know, look, are you going to play for us? And he's like, oh, I still don't know, it's just like, look, mate, Good luck, like you know, we can't be waiting, like on him, can't, can't be waiting on you. There's plenty of other fellas that would kick, like you know, that are dying to get a run out in an iron jersey, like you know, good luck yeah. to you with England. You know, it's just getting to that point now. I think most fans are probably the same, yeah. As I said, you can't, it's just the waiting around and all the social media show you, it's just, it's not this, like, I don't mean this in this, like, you know, I'm sure you could be a lovely fella and all, like, a lovely young lad and all, but like, you know. At the end of the day, like just come out. Are you gonna play for Orange yes or no? It's a simple yeah. question. Like, You'd rather you know, just know by now, you know. Shouldn't take that long to make that question. Like you know, maybe like you know, especially or come out and be honest. Yeah, as well. If you just came out and said, "Yeah, look, I'm not gonna play for Orange," and X, Y, and Z reason, like, we're fair enough. Like, 
Well, it or be, why did the decision? It, would, it wouldn't be fair enough, but you'd be like, right, move on, let's go. Or like came out and explained why it's taken him so long. Like he could say there's stuff going on at home with his family and everything. Like something like that, you know, that way. But yeah. Sure, that's, that's yeah. it, isn't it? Yeah, well, let us know your thoughts in the comments. Do you want an answer now? Are you happy to wait? Do you even want them at all? We'd love to know. Um, we just thought we'd do a video on this. It's a bit we, uh, it's a bit later than we expected for it to grow. Um, but we've just been busy living our lives. Uh, but yeah, same as Declan apparently. But uh, let us know your thoughts in the comments. Uh, we'd like to hear your feedback as always. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to like the video, and we'll speak to you soon.